It's IBC 2022 and we're on the bridge between Hall 7 and Hall 8 and we're speaking to New Gen Audio. And we're going to be talking about this trend towards immersive. Yes, immersive audio. We're here with New Gen with Freddie Vinehill Cliff. Freddie, tell us about immersive and audio. So, well, as you've said, immersive yeah. audio is the hot topic at the moment. Yeah. Everyone's very excited about Dolby Atmos, as they have been for a couple of years now. There are other immersive audio formats Absolutely. available, but Dolby Atmos is the, the, the big hitter. Um, the king at the moment. And that's been a major focus yeah. of ours for a while now um, and continues to be a major focus. So, yeah, a, a, a big plug-in of ours for a long time has been Halo Up Mix, which yep. you're probably familiar with. Halo Up Mix is an up mixing tool which takes stereo audio and promotes it up to 5.1 or 7.1 or 7.12 or 7.14 or Ambisonic or that's more or less it, but uh, okay. that covers pretty much every yeah, yeah. all the bases, I think. Um, so that's been a major part of our product offering for a long time. Um, and when that was first around, it, immersive audio perhaps wasn't as much of a, of a major yeah. big deal as it is now. As that's become more popular, we've expanded our product offering to include various other things. So uh, we've got Halo Vision here. Yeah. We've done another video about that, so I won't go into loads of detail. No. But uh, Halo Vision, it's a surround and immersive analysis suite. So this is especially useful, I think, for any audio engineer who might be used to working in stereo, is branching out into immersive audio, whether that is Dolby Atmos or anything else. And you aren't necessarily yet 100% confident of trusting your ears when mixing in in that space you could use something like oh, I've hit the microphone there sorry yeah. uh, you could use something like Halo Vision to um, kind of make sure that you are hearing what you think you're hearing so you can see what's going on with correlation with phase with um, true peak anything like that making sure that you're doing your job correctly, correctly. Um, and we've also got Paragon here uh, I've said in a in another interview this week that um, the surround version of Paragon, it's a Paragon is a convolution reverb, reverb for the uninitiated. Um, it, a surround version of Paragon wouldn't have made sense maybe five years ago, or, right. or not as much sense not as it as makes now. As, no, okay. Whereas this goes up to 712, it goes up to 10 channels. You can use this to create reverb in a Dolby Atmos bed track. Um, it's a convolution reverb, so it's the to my knowledge, the uh, convolution reverb with the highest number of channels. I think Altiverb is sort of the industry standard. I believe that only goes up to 5.1. So, uh, you know, we've got them there. Yeah. Um, and, uh, <laughs> but so it's all, you know, it's all this kind of yeah. immersive stuff. We're trying to make more and more products to support engineers who are working in immersive audio to stop them having to do sort of a hacky workarounds yeah. to make this thing work. We're trying to make it so they can focus on creativity and not have to focus on, oh God, I know how to do this in stereo. How do I make this work in immersive? It's like, well, we figured it out for you. Don't worry about it. It's funny because you, you, I mean, you, you just sort of highlighted that this might not have made sense you know, two, three years ago. Exactly. Can you, I mean, this, this is always a horrible question. Where's it going? Where is it going? Um, I, th I think just in general, this is this is going to be such a cop out answer. But I, th I think in general, it's like um, all that we're trying to do is make the sort of boring parts of audio production take less time, right. so that you can focus more on the exciting parts. So I think that that what we're continuing to try to do is we're we're observing the fact that things like immersive audio and things like streaming are just becoming the norm the in norm. fact arguably yeah. not even becoming the norm they just are the norm yeah. and those new technologies bring a lot more problems with them like a, a lot more concerns about how to make the audio translate if we can make that really easy and really straightforward and it's just a click of a button and it works then that means audio engineers have much more time to spend making it cool and exciting yeah. rather than spending time having headaches over what well, uh, how Simple you know processes. how do I do this yeah. exactly yeah, 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 so yeah. that's that's it's where I see it going is just us making more tools which make those tasks quick and easy so you can do the fun stuff I think. so if there's anyone here at IBC that's involved in immersive audio where do they come to see you I, I said it earlier 7p11 between 7p11 uh, and if you're not IBC the bridge. you can come to our website newtonaudio.com to tell them I sent you um, there you go does it yeah. give them any benefits 
Oh. If you're at IBC you and might. we scan your badge, then you can get 10% off anything on our web store. If there you're not you IBC, then That's I'm the afraid you're out of luck. Now. Brilliant. Get on a flight. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Freddie. Cheers. So that's one of two videos we've done with, uh, with Freddie here, with yep. Nugen. And uh, to see the other one, go on to kitplus.com. And, of course, don't forget to subscri subscribe to the channel.